Hello everyone and welcome to the MicroCare Giza Controller application tutorial. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the installer screen. Step 1. Stand close to your MicroCare Giza Controller and open your device settings. Make your way to the Wi-Fi menu options and turn on your Wi-Fi. Look for the network that starts with MC-SmartCom. Connect to this Wi-Fi network by typing in the password MicroCare with a capital M. Once connected, return to your home screen and open up your device camera. Scan the QR code that says Launch App located on your Giza controller. Once scanned, tap the notification that prompts you to open the link in your web browser. Once you've tapped the link, you should be redirected to your browser where the MicroCare Giza Controller app will appear, and the screen should say Establishing Communications. Refresh the page and allow the app to load. Now you're on the User Dashboard page. Make your way up to the drop-down menu in the top right of the user page and tap Install a Dashboard. Type in the username MicroCare and the password 1234. You'll know you're on the Installer Dashboard when the banners turn red here, information unique to the installer will be displayed, such as the temperature on the FETs, AC and DC current, Giza element type in kilowatts, and the device status, showing whether the controller is connected to PV or AC or neither. Graph from the user screen showing Giza temperature is also available. To see installer options, scroll up to the drop-down menu and tap Installer Settings. Here, the installer is able to view much more Giza controller information than the user. If a fault arises, the installer will be able to view exactly which fault has occurred. In our case, the PV alarm fault has gone off. Please contact MicroCare Technical Support if any of these faults arise in your Giza controller. The installer also has their own unique Giza controller settings page with an added option to change the element size of the owner's Giza, in addition to the other options available to the user. Once any changes have been made on the installer settings menu, tap Apply Changes to save them. Now that you're finished, make your way back to the installer screen by pressing Installer Dashboard in the drop-down menu, and then press the MicroCare logo in the top left to navigate back to the user dashboard. Lastly, if you wish to connect your Giza controller Wi-Fi chip to a Wi-Fi router, you can select the Connect to Wi-Fi Router option on the drop-down menu on the user dashboard. The username is admin and the password is also admin, all in lowercase letters. Here you can add your Wi-Fi router, allowing you to access your Giza controller app from anywhere that has Wi-Fi signal to that router. For example, I'm connecting my Giza controller to the Wi-Fi router named TP-Link a220. But of course, you'll have your own unique Wi Fi router name. Select the network and enter the password. Then press the green button that says Connect to Wi Fi. You'll be sent to a screen that says Connecting to Network. Wait for the status to say Connected and then locate the new IP address for the Giza Controller app. Click the link that says Here and wait to be redirected. Make sure that your phone's Wi-Fi is connected to the same Wi-Fi router that you just connected the app to, in my case, TP-Link. Once connected, go back into your browser and you should see the application open up. Please note that this IP address will only work for the app once you are connected to your Wi-Fi network. We recommend that you bookmark this page for faster access for when you connect to Wi-Fi. We hope you enjoyed this MicroCare tutorial. If you have any further questions, please contact the MicroCare technical support team. Thank you very much.